Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn how to do this lovely painting. Create a canvas size of 4,500 pixels by 3,000 pixels. I have pre-sketched my drawing and this digital traceable will be available on Pinterest in the link below. Create a new layer and drag that new layer under your sketch layer. Use your color picker to select from the colors that I would have provided. We are using our hard airbrush to apply these colors to the background. We are simply using all of the colors from the middle section of the colors that I has been provided. Now I am applying these colors in a diagonal motion. When we are finished adding all of our colors, go to our brush library and select the soft airbrush. Make sure your soft airbrush brush type is on smudge. Make sure your opacity is from between 5% to 7% and simply go to the areas where the two colors meet and try to blend the colors into each other. Create a new layer above your background layer. Go to your brush library and select what is called a salty watercolor brush. Make sure your opacity is 100% and we're simply going to use our color picker and then we're going to the first and the last row of colors to apply them. Apply the dark areas where I am applying my dark areas and apply your light areas where I am applying my light areas. Create a new layer above the two layers you would have created before. Go to your brush library and select the fountain pen. Go to your color wheel and select black. Use your ruler tool and create a horizontal line. Use the same fountain pen to outline the rest of the landform to close the shape and then you go to your fill bucket to fill the shape with the color black. Go back to your brush library, create a new layer above the landform layer and simply use the fountain pen to outline the body of the tree. After outlining our tree trunk, simply go to the fill bucket and fill the shape with black. Create a new layer above the tree trunk layer, then go to your brush library and select what is called a signature ink brush. Use the brush in various sizes and simply apply the foliage of the tree using the color black. 
Remember to use your sketch as a guide to get the exact shape of the foliage of the tree. Create a new layer above your landform layer. Go to your brush library and select what is called a pencil pal brush. Go to your color picker and use black. And we're simply going to use this brush to apply the effects of grass on top of this layer right across our landform. After finishing our grass layer, create a layer above our foliage layer. Go to your brush library and select the fountain pen. Select the color black and we're simply going to use our fountain pen to outline the butterfly. When you're finished outlining the butterfly, make sure the shape is closed. Go to your fill bucket and use the fill bucket to fill the butterfly with black. After filling the butterfly, using the fill bucket tool with the color black, simply go to your layers menu and select what is called duplicate. When you would have duplicated a new layer, you're going to go to your move tool and simply resize and drag that butterfly into position. You duplicate the next layer and you're going to do the same thing for the rest of the butterflies. So remember to duplicate the layer and then go to your move tool to drag and resize each butterfly based on where they are positioned in our sketch. Now go to your layers menu and you're going to select merge. Merge all the butterflies to one layer. Then you're going to merge the foliage of the tree and the tree chunk together. Then you'd merge your grass layer and your landform layer together. Then go back to your layers menu and merge those, those three layers together to become one. When you're finished, go back to your layers menu and you're going to duplicate this layer. You go to the move tool and then you're going to flip vertical. Now, when we flip this vertical, we're going to use our sketch as a guide to position the reflection into where we want it in the sketch.
now I am dragging my reflection layer below create a new layer above your reflection layer go to your brush library and select what is called a salty watercolor brush use your color picker to select a very light orange I am going to use my lightest orange that I have in my background you're simply going to make your brush opacity about 52 percent and use a very large brush size simply apply the mist over the water randomly now what you want to do is to make your brush size a little bit smaller and turn up the opacity for your brush that way you're able to get more details into the mist you're simply going to apply these brush strokes randomly go back to your color wheel and select a lighter orange and make your brush size smaller turn up the opacity to about 100 percent and we're simply going to apply lighter colors into the mist to give it more details When you finish applying your mist, create a new layer and simply go to your brush library and find a really nice pen to sign your artwork. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and see you in my next video. If you would like for me to see your artwork, Find me on Instagram at Nuage Art Studio and simply tag me in your artwork. See you in my next video.